Hi, this is Jay Smith. Do you like poetry? Well, you have come to the right place. I've written poems on everything from human evolution to history to running, to sailing, and some stories as well, even in Spanish. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy this. And hit the like button and the subscribe to the channel. Okay, see you later. Hi, this is Jay Smith. Uh, this poem that I am going to tell you is about a cat that uh, is going into cat heaven, and uh, this cat has some very strange experiences there. So let's find out uh, what happens to this cat and if it indeed survives. Hope you enjoy it. This poem is called A Cat in Binary Hell. Everyone knows cats go to heaven, whether they have nine lives or seven. People dream of meeting their pets there where they don't have a care. In pet heaven, people enjoy their cats, not bothered by mosquitoes or rats. Of course, catnip would be available everywhere with plenty to spare. Think of the cat food, all you would wish, including chicken, cheese, and fish. But when I arrived at the gate, I got there very late. Two doors I did spy, one low and one high. I didn't know which was which, wouldn't you know, son of a bitch. I chose one, opened the door, this sealed my fate evermore. The door closed hard and fast. I was greeted by a smelly blast. A pack of dogs rushed toward me and I began to flee. What a mistake I had made, call a spade a spade. Dogs chased me here and there. I wished I was a bear. There's no way to survive. It was if I had landed in an angry beehive. I spotted a tree, climbed I must, else all was going to go bust. I climbed all day, climbed all night, but the top of the tree was nowhere in sight. The barking dogs now were far below. Up the tree they could not go. I kept moving until the air was thin. Was this tree ever going to end? I spied a ledge, took a jump, and landed with a bump. Down a path rushing pell-mell, I spied two doors. What the hell? One was black, one was white. I had no idea which was right. Through the white door I went, thinking I was heaven sent. There was dried grass and scattered trees, lots of insect, but no sign of bees. Exploring the trace, I looked for cats. None I saw, but there were a few bats. All of a sudden, I heard a loud roar. Was it thunder from a storm or more? I looked up and saw a cat giant. I knew I had better be compliant. He had a long mane, a yellow coat so thick, and was as strong as a brick. He saw me and let out a roar so strong, it kept building volume very long. I began to run across the plain, putting distance between me and the mane. Didn't he recognize me as a fellow cat? I guess not. That was that. There was no way to outrun this brute. Likely I would end up his fruit. All hope was gone. I was just prey. This is my last heavenly day. Suddenly I fell into a dark black hole, perhaps made by a giant cat-eating mole. I inched through the mole cave. It was so foul. If I were a dog, I would howl. Suddenly forward, glowing doors I saw. This binary configuration was becoming law. One was silver, one was gold. To choose the right one, I need to be bold. Something strange. Mummy, this was a trick. I needed the right door, and I needed it quick. They expected me to choose gold the best. I could found them and select silver to continue this quest. Opening the door, I find myself in a bind, the craziest thing a cat could find. There were tunnels everywhere lit by energy bulbs with plenty to spare. I didn't know which one to take, so I selected one purely on a rake. I followed until I saw a pool of light. It was the oddest and most frightening sight. A ton of rats gathered around a hunk of cheese, nibbling as pretty as you please. I let out my fangs, began to hiss. This was food I wasn't going to miss. I ran into the pack, slapping with my paw. It was the nicest attack you ever saw. Rats flew left, rats flew right. I hit them with all my might. There was blood and guts all over the floor, not a live rat to be seen anymore. Now that this battle was through, what was I going to do? 
I ate a big hunk of the cheese and the dead rats around me did please. So I started down the narrowing tunnel, feeling I was in a funnel. Suddenly a fork I did see. What would this mean to me? There were two tunnels looking alike. One was wrong and the other right. I had no idea which way to go. There was no way to know. Thinking there was some deception, I took the left tunnel to my reception. Stepping into an orchard I found, I began to look around. Apples on the trees I did see and giant birds looking at me. It gave me the shivers to glance at them. They appeared strong and aggressive as though they were working out at a gym. Carefully I paced between the trees avoided looking and shaking to my knees. Soon there appeared an animal white and furry, far away and very blurry. It used long teeth to chop the grass. I hoped that it would not chase my ass. With a big bushy tail and long ears, it gave me the fears. But it hopped away out of sight, and I lost my fright. I kept walking through this strange place, not daring to show my pace. Then I noted the angry bird staring at me from very high up in the tree. I crept to a place to hide, did not want to lose my pride. Appeared an animal with a long tail and claws would not wish to be in its jaws. Dangerous though it was not, perhaps it was a nut-eating robot. The evil bird kept eyeing me. I was afraid and about to pee. One swooped down, showing me its claws. I showed it one of my wicked paws. Just then an eagle I did spy. It clipped the bird and made it die. All of a sudden a loud sound I heard, but why here in the orchard with the bird? I was groggy, sleepy as hell. My head was ringing like a bell. Looking up, I recognized my house, even my gray toy mouse. I realized I had been in a crazy dream, but I knew not what it could mean. But at least I was out of this binary hell, cat food I went to eat and smell. I hope you don't dream like this, because it is not a state of bliss. May your dreams be happy, not sad. I wish you the best you ever had.